For me, there was a space uh, in the market that was missing, and it had to do with a really thoughtful, intelligent combination of both the premium technical construction that you tend to see uh, in the outdoors industry, in the sports performance industry, and combined with that sort of metropolitan urban design sensibility. Here we are at Black Ember HQ, which as you guys know is sort of hidden in the bowels of a big warehouse that you kind of have to get through. We kind of like that, it's a little bit secretive, it's a little bit stealthy, which is sort of aligned to our brand as well. What happens here is that this is where we spend a ton of time focused on designing and developing products. The two kind of major workflows that happen here are one, concepting, designing, developing products, um, which of course also involves a lot of travel to our factory base in Asia. And the other thing is really about that maintaining that connection um, to our customer. And it's really as simple as that. Kickstarter at this point is a part of our DNA. I think the statistics are something like 12% of creators come back for a second project and only 1% create five or more projects. And we've created five and I think we're going on to our six. And for us, there are not a lot of reasons not to use Kickstarter. They're equal parts of market research, finance, and marketing. So on the market research side, we launched the first Black Ember modular bag on Kickstarter in 2014. And in 30 days, that raised $300,000. And after the campaign closed, we received an equal number of requests, backer requests, um, in the following month. This is a, a new pack we're developing, actually, and it's codenamed The Three. So looking at this one on the inside, for instance, and just opening it up, you can see that on the inside of the pack, it's completely unfinished. And we've done that purposely because we want to start by focusing on some of those key dimensions of the bag, key usefulness, that sort of thing. We have a pretty good idea for a pack like this, what consumers are going to want in terms of organization and that sort of thing internally. So that can come later after we get a feel for what this bag is like to use and carry on the outside and then work our way inside as we develop through this program. We don't go to a Kickstarter to put up a project with an abstract concept. When we launch a Kickstarter product, it's ready to go. So not only are we ready to push the button to launch the project itself, at the same time, we're also ready to push the production button. And this is how all Kickstarter should run. It's interesting in this day and age, um, with the technology available to us, that you can run a startup very lean and very mean. You don't need many people. You know, our core competencies here at Black Ember are design, development, and marketing, creativity, innovation. So we really focus on those activities and the rest we outsource. So it really allows us to focus on activities like marketing and Instagram and social, which are so important for us. And for our brand, from the beginning, when we began running social ads, they converted and it's been great for us. And I think that's the trend um, we're seeing as we're continuing to move forward into brands being able to directly speak to the consumer themselves. So what is laid out here before me um, is actually the, the WPRT in its form all flat laid out as it would be laser cut, bar tacked, bonded, um, all the elements that go into it right before the final process of bringing it together. So the first WPRT that I want to talk about uh, is the minimal pack. From Fidlock, the um, V-buckle. This is a great magnetic buckle. You can see it instantly automatically attaches and one pull it comes right off. Um, it also unfolds and then there's a secondary zipper. We have um, several waterproof zippers on the outside. One here and then over here on the side and then finally there is also a dedicated laptop compartment as well. Now I want to move to the modular version. There's uh, what we call a Hypalon load panel on the front. There is a combination of a mechanical lock as well as the magnetic lock. And so what I can do is rotate that mechanical lock off and pull up and there it is. And so now I've removed both mechanisms, both the mechanical lock as well as the magnetic lock. This is also a minimal WPRT, um, but the difference here is this is our new uh, black grid camo. We weren't 
really happy with the sort of number of stock camos that you see out there, mostly because they tend to be uh, a little too bold. All of our uh, textiles are specially prepared so that they can be effectively bonded uh, as well as welded. And so this combines the best of both of those elements in this black camo, WPRT. We're a small startup and we're a small self-funded startup, which is a really beautiful thing. Um, we're really able to foster an environment of creativity and innovation here. Most of the products we make are cutting edge products. Um, and there's an inherent risk in that. And there's no one telling us to play it safe. 